Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. Let's go ahead, wow, the cards are already jumping out. I was gonna say, welcome to your love reading. So first card out is I'm longing to hold you again. When I finally do, I never wanna let you go ever again. You are my forever. So this is somebody that definitely um, is missing you, right? They're missing your touch. They're missing the way that you make them feel. I feel like whoever this, this individual is that you guys are dealing with, they're going through a lot. There's some type of major transformation that this person is going through where they're in a sense of self-evaluation and self-reflection. And they're asking themselves, what makes sense? What makes me happy? And I think that the one thing that keeps replaying over and over in their mind is you. I think that you offer them a sense of relief. You have such a high vibration about you, a high frequency that this person, it changes their perspective on life. You may have been able to alter the way that this person views the world, right? By giving them a higher elevation, a higher perspective on things. And I feel that with your energy with this person, it's never changed. It's always been very, very consistent. And I feel like this person needs you right now. I feel like they miss you. They miss you a lot, especially with the I'm longing to hold you again um, energy coming in. And I'm coming back to you when I'm ready to give you the love you deserve. This is somebody who really does know your worth, right? And when I say know your worth, they may have never even expressed it to you, how significant you are, how much you've impacted their life, but they do see you. This is somebody who puts you on a pedestal. This is somebody who does recognize, you know, everything that you are and every everything that you're worth is what I'm getting. And they do believe that you you deserve a certain level of love because you've always given that to them is what I'm getting. And this person had to make some type of choice and in the past maybe they picked you know somebody else over you or they decided to stay in, in in a stagnant um energy but i do get that this person is really really working hard this person is you know being very very diligent right now and they're putting in the hard work because they want to come forward and they want to make you some type of very significant offer because they feel like the time is now they're meant to have this level of ascension. This is somebody who is tapped into source and is having a major awakening. And they're realizing that you and them are connected in a way where they're beginning to see the bigger picture. And I feel like their perspective has completely changed on the situation. Like a butterfly, I'm growing and changing and finding my true colors in life. I'm finding my wings so I can fly back to you and soon, or fly and soon be on my way back to you. I mean, if this isn't a talking about um, a reconciliation, but it's not just a reconciliation, right? This is major. And I always say too, when you guys are elevated or elevated higher than your twin or elevated higher than your divine counterpart, what happens is you're the butterfly, right? And they're the caterpillar. So you see things as such a higher perspective than this person does, which is why this person typically in the very beginning has a very linear view. This is why you, you at times may become frustrated with this person because they don't see what you see. But you have a very high elevation. You have a high frequency. So you can see past you know, um, looks, you can see past materialistic possessions. You see the larger picture because you have a higher elevation. With this person, they had to go through this metamorphosis, right? They had to go through this very trying time where everything that they know, everything that they knew had to be broken down in front of them in order for them to kind of see the bigger picture, in order for them to have this major, major change. Because believe it or not, there is a lot of change that's coming here. And... I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they're either currently going through one of the toughest points in their life or they're getting out of this energy and they're getting ready to come back to you because this person knows that you are where they belong. They know that you're the person that they're meant to be with, that you're the energy that they're meant to be attached to. 
I would give it all up to be with you. Prepare yourself. I'm getting ready for union. This is somebody, I mean, just right out the gate. I don't know if we've seen such an intense energy like this for a very, very long time. This is an energy that's very focused on their goal. They're very focused on what they want. They're very focused on what needs to be obtained. And they're sitting in this, this energy of, I don't care what I have to do. I'm going to make it back to the collective. I need to make it back to my divine counterpart because that's what makes me feel whole. Get ready here because there is some type of truce or some type of surrender that's coming here where this person has finally came to terms even after this time of being suspended where they don't want to fight with you anymore. If you and them had a fight or some type of argument, this person doesn't want that. They want to come in. They want to make amends. They want to give you some type of peace offering. They don't want to argue anymore. They want to agree to disagree with certain things. And I feel like this person, it's coming in as reconciliation energy. It's coming in as a six of cups to me where they want this second chance at love. They want to have a happy home. They want to have this, this security, this emotional security where they can love you. You know, they can be kind to you. You know, you and them can build a family together where they feel like they belong. This person is tired of running. I get whoever this energy is. They're tired of running in the connection. They're tired of running in the situation. And I feel like you give them a sense of emotional and soulful contentment that they've never had before. But because of this, right, I think that at first they set certain boundaries because you made them feel things that they never felt before. But this person can't deny that you are what their heart desires. And this person may have to give up something very, very significant to them, something that defined them in order to be with you. And in the sense of this may be them having to give up marriage. This may be them having to move closer, you know, physical, whatever it may be. It, it's something that defined them as a person that they felt like was them, not realizing that what really defines somebody is love. And I know that that sounds kind of cheesy, but the reality is at the end of the day, it doesn't matter the career that you have. It doesn't matter how much money you have. At the end of the day, there's two things that are always promised, life and death, right? And with this energy coming in, this person doesn't want to live any longer without you. I think that they're tired of pretending and I think that they're tired of not being happy in their situations. I feel this huge pull, pull to you and I don't know why. I just don't understand what this connection really is. A lot of times it's hard to understand something that's new, right? And when you have something that's new, it's easy to push it away and deem it as something that's not right because it's uncomfortable. If you're, if you're somebody who never saw a positive relationship and then all of a sudden somebody comes forward and is emotionally mature and is emotionally stable and provides you emotionally stability, you're like, no, that's not real. That only happens in the movies or that only happens in, in the TV shows or whatever it may be. But the reality is you're a huge catalyst for change when it comes to this person. You've pushed this person's buttons. You've created this person to have this kind of perfect storm where they had to take a look at themselves and ask, who am I? What do I want? Because all of a sudden, this person is believing in love. This person is believing in family. They want to have, you know, this very, very strong commitment towards you because I think that you've been a major support system to this person. You've been very dependable. And I think that you've been very, very sincere with everything that you've said or everything that you've done when it came to this person. I never meant to reject you. My heart was saying yes, but the fear was too overwhelming. I mean, I think that we just said that, right? I think that we just talked about that. I feel like this person, even if they pushed you away, or even if you and them are not in communication, because I know some of you guys are not in communications with your person or with your divine counterpart, this is something that this person rejects. And this is something that they think about all the time. 
that's why you guys are constantly thinking about them, right? Energy is interchangeable. You are them and they are you. So if you're sitting there thinking about this person so heavily, that person is also thinking about you as well. And it's funny because, you know, you're all that they think about. I see you and everyone I meet. You're constantly running through my mind and my heart. They're receiving a lot of messages from source, a lot of synchronicities telling them, hey, now's the time. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what about your person? No matter where they look, even people from the back that may look like you where they think that it's you, but it's not. They may smell you. They may hear a song that reminds them of the first time you met or a song that the two of you guys share with one another. I get that this person is in deep. This is a very deep emotional energy right now where I feel like in the last reading, it was really about this person making the decision that they want to be with you, making the decision that, you know, they felt bad about the way that things were going. And now this person is in the process where they're putting in the work in order to come forward to you and to come forward to you the right way because they know that you deserve it. They're not going to come forward to you and make you some type of offer that's half mass. They believe that you deserve more. This is somebody that knows everything that you've given to them. If you've given 100 to them and they've given 1% or 10%, this person wants to make it up. This person wants to come forward and give you 110% and show you the type of love that you showed them times 10 because they feel like you deserve it and they want you to be proud that you're with them. They want you to be proud that they are your person. And I think that in the past, there was some type of karmic situation that held them back whether that's a family, okay, a mother, sister, brother, whatever it may be that held this person back. It may be a job. It may be a mother or father of a child. This, uh, this person always wanted to be with you, but they always felt like they had some type of duty to this other energy, whatever it may be. And karmic can also just be things that are not healthy for you, right? Um, toxic toxic energy, right? A devil energy that's holding somebody back from their higher purpose. This person always had some type of attachment that was stopping them from progressing, that had some type of hold on them. But now I feel like this person, they don't care anymore about that. Oh, there's two. Okay. I didn't see the truth about the, this connection for a long time. I was blindfolded and now I finally realize it is you. It's always been you. You are the one. That's beautiful. For some of you guys, the, your, their friends or family, like I said, they don't approve of the connection. And it can be because there's an age difference. It can be the fact that you guys are different religions from different countries, different nationalities, whatever it may be, right? But my family and friends do not approve of our relationship. They don't understand this connection. I know I will have to stand up for this love. It's, it's more than that though, right? I think that this person is worried about what other people are going to say or how they're going to judge, right? This is somebody who typically cares what other people think. And I feel like their friends and family, one, they don't understand the connection because for some of them, it's almost like, well, that, that's kind of too good to be true. That's a fairy tale. It's not real, whatever it may be. But I feel like they don't understand, they don't understand the complexity of, of the two of your connections for some reason. And they're not meant to, right? Not everybody's meant to understand the connection. And... I feel like whoever this person is, you know, on social media, they may seem like they're happy, like everything is great, but the reality is they're very, very unhappy. They're going through this major dark night of the soul. All of these cards fell out, so um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read them to you guys. I know that we have a deep soul connection. I feel um, the love I feel for you has always been there. It doesn't matter. You know what's funny is I feel like there's been a major shift, right? I think on Wednesday we talked about this shift. See, what's happening is this shift is coming in 
and it's changing people's perspective. It's coming out of this level of illusion where other people's opinions matter. This person is beginning to put themselves first. This person is beginning to take off these rose-colored glasses and take a look around them and realize that the people that disapprove of the relationship, one, they don't know you, and two, it's there's a level of jealousy and a sense of control here. And I feel like this person is gaining up the courage to tell people like, I don't care what you think. I'm going to move forward how I want to move forward. What makes me happy? This person has sacrificed whoever you're dealing with. They've sacrificed a lot of their happiness in order to live in this illusion of what other people had in mind for them. But they it never truly made them happy. They always felt empty at the end of the day. No matter if they were a player, no matter if they were connected to another person, if they were married, if they played this, this, this happy energy, they were never really happy because they never really had a pure connection. They did what other people told them they should do, what they felt like they've seen from a child, right? It's normal to be in unhappy commitments and unhappy relationships. It, it, it's a duty. It's something you have to do. This person is breaking free of that and saying, no, that doesn't make sense anymore. Why would I want to be so unhappy? We don't have this much time on this earth and tomorrow is never promised. This is a very, th this energy is definitely this catalyst for change. There's a lot of excitement behind this person and a lot of passion and a lot of action that's coming because it's destroying the past. It's breaking up whatever, you know, happened. And there's some type of major unexpected change that's coming in here with this person. And I feel like whoever this person is, you're going to be surprised because it's gonna come out of nowhere. This energy is one where this person is having such a beautiful spiritual awakening and you've sparked this level of curiosity with inside of them where they know it's time. God, the universe, whatever you believe in, it's telling this person it's time. It's time to heed the call. It's time to tap into this inner knowing to go from the dark to the light. This person has already gone down the rabbit hole and you know, once you have awakened to what is really real, you can never go back. You can never go back to seeing things from a linear perspective. This person is finally waking up from this dream and they're realizing that the two of you, there's this level of tandem energy between you guys. You guys are synchronized. There's this beautiful alliance with inside of this duo, with inside of this partnership where you guys are always in unison. You give and they can give. There's a level of equality here where the two of you guys can be equals. And I feel like together, there's this level of alignment and a level of harmony and cooperation that helps you guys because the reality is you're two of a kind. And this person had to make this decision. There was a decision that had to be made and I feel like there's some type of offer coming in. I feel so connected with you. Even though we're miles apart, I can still feel you like you're sitting right next to me. This is somebody who fantasizes about you all of the time. And I think that this is a situation that's been relatively complicated. This is a situation where I feel like this person has tried to push you away, has tried to ignore you, but they're coming in on this energy where they can't help it anymore. I'm letting go of old ways and leaving toxic people and situations behind. I want a better self, a better life for myself and a new beginning. This new beginning, they want, it's with you. And again, this is the, the friends and the family that disapprove they would rather this person be stuck in toxic energies, whether it's drugs or alcohol or whatever it may be, in order to suppress how they really feel. They would rather this person have those type of negative attachments versus being free, versus being happy, because you know what? It fuels their agenda. That's part of the problem here, right? It keeps them attached. It keeps them in control of this person. But your person is breaking free. They're really... 
acknowledging what makes them happy and who they were in the past, they're never going to be that person anymore because they realize that they just can't stop loving you. This is somebody who, again, I feel like this is such, these cards that were pulled, these really do say everything, in my opinion. I would give it all up to be with you. Prepare yourself. I'm getting ready for union, and I'm coming back to you when I'm ready to give you the love that you deserve. This is an energy where, again, this person really does miss you. This is an energy where this person can't stop loving you. It's an energy where they know that you and them are meant to be and you're meant to be for forever. Is it a fairy tale? Maybe. But at the end of the day, I feel like everybody has that one chance at true divine love, at true divine partnership, at true divine happiness. Some of us squander it away and we regret it for the rest of our lives that we didn't make that move necessary in order to be happy, that we never had that, you know what, I tried it and it didn't work. A lot of people live in a sense of regret and live with that what if. I don't feel like this person is getting ready to live with the what if. That's what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into the tarot now. If you guys haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, let's get into what messages do you have for the collective? Queen of Pentacles, okay? There is some type of commitment that is coming in here. But this commitment is coming in because you guys are standing your ground. Because you're sitting there and you've elevated yourself. You know what you deserve, right? You know everything that you've put in. And this is an energy that's very stable. It already knows, right? The Queen of Pentacles, this is Capricorn energy. It's very realistic. It's very grounded. It's not an energy that's spastic. It's not an energy that's acting purely off of emotions. This is an energy where I've done the right thing and I know that the right thing is going to come back to me. This is a very practical energy and this person is looking at you like you're the person that they want to settle down with. You're the person that they want to marry. This is an energy where they want the world to know. You are theirs and they are yours. You've had all the tools this entire time. There is this level of vindication with who you are though. And I feel like the per this person, whoever it is, wants to share that with the world. And I do feel like with the Eight of Cups and the Two of Swords, this person had a lot of people in their ear telling them what to do, which ultimately blocked this connection. There was too many opinions with who you were with people that have never met you. This person is tired of this. They're tired of the blocks. They're wanting to turn their back. They're wanting to walk away because they desire more. They know, they see clearly now who you are to them. This is a major karma coming in as well. With this person doing the right thing, there's a lot of beautiful karma that's coming in for them. Because I always say, when you meet your divine counterpart, it can either be a blessing or a curse. A blessing in the sense of when you're with your divine person and you both are walking the path that God set forth for you, right? And you're no longer fighting it. Things become easy. Money begins to flow. Everything that you need, resources are automatically available to you. But this person is being tested. If this person decides to go with their ego, to go with fear, allow fear to control their next move, then what happens is you become a curse because they'll never forget you for the rest of their life. But there is a conclusion here and there is something that's being completed. Karmic lessons are ending. Karmic situations are ending. There's a level of success here and a level of, in a, in a sense of achievement because there's acknowledgement and there's knowledge with who you are to this person. For some of you guys, if you've been um, a situation that maybe has been a secret for a period of time, this person wants to come out in the open and have this conversation. Look at this out in the open and have a conversation with you, show you off. They want to go out. They want to show the world that you are theirs. And they're very, very proud of you. 
I get it, like whoever this person is, they're proud of you. Even if they've never expressed it to you, they've watched you grow. Even times where you were broken, you always picked yourself up and put yourself back together in a way where this person is like looking at you. It's a very magical. It's a lot of Capricorn energy, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. But with all this Capricorn energy coming in, it's karma, right? This is Saturn energy. And when Saturn energy comes in, it's a lesson. It's did you do the right thing, yes or no, right? And this, with this judgment here, this person is awakening to who you really are. And there is this resurrection or a reincarnation and even a reunion that is going to shock you. Because your situation is going through this major rebirth. There's something coming where you can expect some type of communication coming in from your person very, very quickly. Okay, King of Swords, there's communication and there is a truth that's coming in between you and your person. What is the truth that's coming in here? The Empress. You are the Divine Feminine or you may be dealing with a Divine Masculine. But this is an energy where they feel like they need to protect you, where you are abundant, where you've provided them stability and security, and that you do create. There's something about you where you are creation. You help create. You help draw out this abundance with inside of them. You help them feel safe. This person needed to take some time to acknowledge that, though. And I think that whoever you're dealing with always tried to be very, very critical of you and your situation. But now this person is having their own judgment moment on themselves where they're saying, okay, well, have you done the right thing? This person is also planning something I get for you because they miss you. Yeah, expect some type of um, unexpected message, right? This is going to be a message that's very loving, that's very caring, that's very nurturing. This person has been fantasizing about you as well. They have a surprise. This is a surprise because I feel like whoever this person is, they really do admire you. And they're in a very emotional state. But believe it or not, I feel like there's a lot of people right now that, that um, are very keen on you. Like there's a lot of people that are watching you, more people than what you realize. I don't know why this is coming in right now, but it is. There's a lot of people that are watching you right now. You have a lot of secret admirers. It's more than just this person. And I feel like that's what's causing this person to have this sense of anxiety with needing to push forward. Because they know that with you coming in as this Empress, Queen of Pentacles, they know that other people are seeing you the same way that they are. And that if they don't make some type of move, if they don't do something unexpected, this energy, they're worried that you're going to have some type of new start with somebody else. The other thing about judgment, too, um, that I forgot to mention here is I feel like with this person, um, they're tired of hiding. Like they're tired of hiding who they are. So there may be some skeletons that come out of the closet or skeletons that they've swept underneath the bed. These are coming out. These are no longer being hidden. Like you're going to see things for what they are. Some of it is going to be good. And there are some bad aspects that are coming in. But I think you already know those. I feel like for a lot of you guys that are very high vibrational, you're healers. So whatever this person is going to communicate to you, I feel like you already know it. You may be readers or you may be very spiritual. I feel like everybody who watches my channel tends to be a healer in some sense because the frequency that I'm pulling on, it's, 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 a, it, it's a certain frequency. So not everybody is gonna understand what I'm saying, but those that get it, get it, right? Those that understand it, understand it. And I feel like with this judgment moment, it's almost like them revealing themselves for who they really are, you know, good, bad, or indifferent, they're saying like, this is me. And I feel like for a lot of them, they've tried to hide who they were this entire time. Like they've lived behind this mask. They were always trying to be very, very strategical with you. And I feel like that's being exposed. 
I feel like it's being exposed because there's something coming in here where this person is, is tired. I feel like they're tired of living a lie. I feel like this person is stressed. I feel like they're tired of being away from you. Whoever this energy is, they're making some type of major sacrifice in walking away from something in order to be with you. Again, it's coming in as this Saturn energy. Heavy Saturn energy pertaining to love and romance, pertaining to this Venus energy. And it's something that is going to change your life forever. This is, like I said, a major catalyst for change. There's something coming in here, especially with this Jupiter energy. Jupiter is expansive. When Jupiter comes in, it may be a penny and that penny turns into something of a million, right? Because Jupiter energy takes something and, and it automatically spins this wheel of fortune. And because this person has done the right thing, because they've walked away and they've done it in a way where it's like, it's cool, I'll get it back, right? Sagittarius energy, that's a lot of Jupiter energy. It's changing the narrative, it's shifting perspectives, and this is something where this person's luck is going to change. Karma is in play here. This is something that's meant for destiny. This is an opportunity for this person to win. And again, it's a turn of events here that's coming in. And it's pertaining to this love. Wow. But I'm telling you, your person had to see things from a different perspective. This person had to have this awakening. See, the universe, God, whatever, they had to have this major awakening to say to them, what do you want? You have to make the decision. Because it's a very monumental moment in time right now where I feel like it's very narrow. And there's a lot of healing happening. There's lots and lots of healing that's going on here. And again, you have your Jupiter energy. So we have the karma that's coming. And now that the karma has come and this person has is either going to do the right thing or the wrong thing, what's happening here is there's this beautiful Ace of Cups. There's this healing. There's this thinking. There's this higher level of consciousness and where this person is now realizing that your intentions were pure the entire time and their feelings are growing and they're acknowledging their emotions. And this tower, it's hitting or it already hit. And what this tower is doing is it's clearing out the illusions that are in their life. And it's bringing back a second chance of love. Earlier, we talked about the Six of Cups. This is at the bottom of the deck that I'm pulling. And it's a brand new start. And for a lot of you guys, you've been through a lot of pain with this person. There's been some type of betrayal. There's been dark hours. There's been a lot of internal suffering and painful endings that you've dealt with. But this person is dealing with it too. And now what's happening here is there's this major rebirth pertaining to this situation with you and this person. Let's get things from their perspective. I always like to say that the beginning of the reading um, is the 5D energy and then the extended is going to be the 3D energy. All right, so let's get into it. How does this person view their current connection with you romantically? How do they view the, collect the collective's energy with them romantically? Okay, page of wands, there's a brand new start. This is a very optimistic energy. Um, how do they view themselves in the connection? This this is also somebody that's very impulsive right now. How do they view themselves in this connection with the collective? Okay. Um, six of wands. All right. So believe it or not, I feel like in the past, this person has been insecure, but there's something about this person where they're overcoming whatever faults that are going on and now they're they're very confident see i like this confident energy because to me people that are insecure tend to want to control the narrative because they're not sure in themselves that's why they don't make certain moves that's why they pull back but this person is coming in where it's a very confident energy i, I actually really like this for this person um and how are they viewing the collective in, in this they're thinking a lot about you, I just got. How are they viewing the collective, okay? The King of Cups, beautiful. 
And what's stopping this person from coming forward? What's stopping this person from coming towards the collective? The fool. I think that uh, Pisces or Aquarius, but this is also just this person's thought process, this person freeing themselves from, you know, the karmic chains, right? Having a different type of mindset. And what is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to the collective? What is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to the, this collective? The Nine of Cups. Like I said, this person's energy is coming in very emotional, right? And with the Nine of Cups here, again, there's this sense of fantasy. This person is fantasizing about you. This person is realizing how happy you make them. Because you get to the Nine of Cups when you walk away from the illusions and you actually walk towards what you deserve. And I feel like this person is acknowledging and realizing that you're somebody that they deserve. What action is this person going to take towards the collective? Oh, and by the way, all of this is going to be available in the extended where we clarify each one of these and we take a deep dive into whatever is going on. We pull Oracle messages and it's a great um, it's a great extended to the reading if it's something that you're interested in because it kind of gives like a deep dive into your person's psyche. All right. And uh, that is available on Vimeo. The link for that will be in the comment section below. All right. Show me, please. What uh, what is this person's next actions when it comes to the collective? Ooh, strength. OK. There's this Leo energy coming in with this person. And I just want to say this really quick. I don't care. Signs don't really matter to me because we have so many different signs in our charts. But with this person's energy coming in like this Leo, this is a very confident. And, and the one thing about Leo that I know is Leo, when they when they have their eyes locked on something of uh, it's kind of like a, it's a mind type of energy. There's no breaking that. This is somebody that's very, very focused on this connection. This is somebody that's pulling a sense of inner strength in order to make some type of move. So I'm curious to see in the extended what actual action they're taking with this strength because this is a very brave action that they're taking. They're, they're being very brave right now. And they're taking some action that's going to be very unexpected. And what are their intentions with the collective romantically? What are their intentions with this collective romantically? I know that's right. The king of pentacles, locking it down. If you're the queen of pentacles, this person is coming in with the king of pentacles, right? And, and, and what is the collective's advice here within this connection? What's the collective's advice right now when it comes to this person? The star. Remember, this person is going through that tower moment. You are the light at the end of the tunnel. You are their lighthouse, okay? Remain positive, remain optimistic. You are the healer. The star is the healer. Now, I want to say this. In the beginning of the reading, it's all wands and cups. So this is a very emotional, um, chemistry, magnetic pool. But this person is changing because what they really want, they're tired of being in this page of wands. They're tired of being in this non-committal energy with you. And they want to lock something down with this king of pentacles. So... This is a very beautiful energy, and I really can't wait to find out what happens in the extended. Get ready. You're going to receive some type of communication that you've been waiting for for a period of time. There's somebody that's been watching you and stalking you, and they're getting ready to walk away from whatever no longer serves them. And they're really coming in to work on this love because they're having this different this different perspective, I feel like. They're seeing things differently and it can be from this period of silence. It can be because this person had to go within. They had to have this hermit energy, right? They had to be strong and, and really ask themselves what makes them happy. So uh, all of these cards, they are available um, on my website or if you wanna book a reading with me, all of that is available on spiritualinfusion1111.com. With that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. You mean the world to me. Love is the highest frequency of all. So when you lead with the sense of love, everything else falls into place. For those of you guys that are coming over to the extended, let's roll. And for those of you where this is where we leave each other, I wish you nothing but love, light, and success. And until Wednesday, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.